The Zone of Inhibition in Bacterial Cultures by kscience.com. This here is an agar plate, and zones A, B, C, D, E, F, and H are all zones of inhibition where bacteria are not growing. G has no zone of inhibition, and we're going to explain why. This here is an agar plate with no bacteria and no antibiotic discs on it. I've now added four discs, and we're going to explain what each disc contains. This disc contains an antibiotic, which we're calling antibiotic 1. This disc contains antibiotic 2, which is different to antibiotic 1. This disc contains an antibiotic, which we're going to call antibiotic 3, which is different to 1 and 2. And this is what we call the control. The control has no antibiotics on it. Instead, it's either got distilled water or nothing at all. So there's no antibiotic on this disc. This here is the antibiotic colonies that are spread on the agar plate. So this represents the bacteria. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We then incubate the bacteria on the agar plate for 48 hours at 25 degrees Celsius. And we should see zones where there are no bacteria growing. So what I'm drawing here is a zone where there is no bacteria growing and that is the zone of inhibition. Antibiotic 3 has a smaller zone of inhibition than antibiotic 1. And antibiotic 2, as you can see here, has the largest zone of inhibition. And this green area is where the bacteria populations have grown. So there is bacteria present where there is green color on the agar plate, as shown here. In the zone of inhibition, there is no bacteria growing. So there is no bacteria growing in the zone of inhibition. We call this the inhibition zone, which you can also see surrounding antibiotic 1 and antibiotic 3. So as you can see here, around the control, there is no inhibition zone. There is no zone of inhibition around the control disc. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. I'm now going to show you how to calculate the area of the zone of inhibition. I'm going to show you how not to do it, but then how to do it. So you must measure the diameter going directly through the antibiotic disc at its widest point. So as you can see here, I'm not doing that properly. So I measured 25 millimeters. The diameter of the zone of inhibition of antibiotic 1 is 15 millimeters, and the zone of inhibition's diameter of antibiotic 3 is 11 millimeters. So we need to do this again. Now I measure the correct diameter through the zone of inhibition of antibiotic 2, which is 26 millimeters. And then in antibiotic 3, because it's such a small zone of inhibition, it doesn't actually change. It's still 11 millimeters. So to calculate the area of a circle, you use the formula pi r squared. The area of a circle equals pi r squared. So what we're going to do now is calculate the area of the zone of inhibition of antibiotic 2. So it'd be pi times the radius squared. Let's now work out the radius of our zone of inhibition. So it's 26 millimeters divided by 2 because the radius is half of the diameter, which will give you a radius r of 13 millimeters. So now you do pi r squared, so it's pi times r squared, which is 13 squared which gives you the area of this zone of inhibition of 530 millimeters squared. So the area of the zone of inhibition around antibiotic 2 is 530 millimeters squared. The diameter of the zone of inhibition surrounding antibiotic disc 1 is 15 millimeters. So the radius is 7.5 millimeters. So you do pi 
times 7.5 squared, which will give you area of this zone of inhibition of 177 millimeters squared. So the zone of inhibition is smaller surrounding antibiotic 1 than it is surrounding antibiotic 2. So then for antibiotic 3, you do pi times 5.5 squared, which equals 95 millimeters squared. So the zone of inhibition surrounding antibiotic 2 is larger than the zone of inhibition surrounding antibiotic 1, and the zone of inhibition surrounding antibiotic 3 is smaller than both of them. That means that the zone of inhibition surrounding antibiotic 2 is the largest, which means it's the most effective antibiotic against that specific bacteria. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.